Welcome everybody back to the Nuggets of Gold podcast and YouTube channel. So today, before we, me and Aiden are going to do a show later, but I just want to discuss that Cameron Dantzler was actually reported to have been discussed in a trade involving the 49ers and the Vikings. So if you guys don't know who Tan, uh, Cameron Dantzler is, uh, he was a rookie corner last year. I'm surprised that they went out after a guy like that because he was on the all rookie team, like the, not the all pro team, but like he was like a second team, all rookie corner. Um, he was really good. He got drafted at Mississippi state. I didn't really know about him at all coming out of school, but I, my, one of my best friends is a Vikings fan. So I ended up watching a ton of the Vikings games. He started 10 games, looked pretty solid. Now, sometimes they'd get into little like rhythms where they start targeting his guy a lot and he would struggle once in a while. Um, but he ended up having a couple picks. I thought he held his own pretty good for a young corner. Um, he's really skinny. Uh, but I do like that they're going after a guy like him. Um, I, I believe they also went after CJ Henderson, who is on the Jaguars. Now, if you can ever buy low from the Jaguars, that is a good move. That's a smart move. So going after a couple young corners. So we had discussed, or in the comments, I discussed with a couple people that potentially Stefan Gilmore could, you know, that would be a guy that could be rumored. It doesn't seem like that's the, the style guy they're going after. It seems like they want to go after a younger guy, a guy that maybe can contribute now, but they can keep on the roster for a cheap amount of money uh, down the road. So Danzler absolutely looks like that's the case with him. I don't think anything's going to happen out of him specifically, just because if it's already reported that they went and talked to him and nothing happened, then that makes sense. Now, maybe around the trade deadline, the Vikings would be able to part with someone like him, but I, I really don't get it because – Right now, he's like falling down the depth chart a little bit. I don't think he played that much against the Bengals game or in the Bengals game. I didn't watch that game, so I'm not exactly sure. But it, it doesn't have any registered stats. And if you look at last year, like his numbers were pretty solid. So it's a little bit weird that they don't have him starting out there. Uh, last season, the Vikings drafted Jeff Gladney in the first round. Now, Gladney is not on the team anymore. He was cut this offseason after being arrested. But Cameron Danzler beat him out. He was the better player early on. I want to say he's a day two pick. He might have been a day three pick. I think he's my best. I think he was round three. So he's a guy that immediately produced and is, wasn't really supposed to. So I love the idea of going after a guy like Cameron Danzler. I don't really think that the Niners are trying to move draft capital. and It would probably be relatively expensive to, to go trade for a guy like that unless they were trading and parting with some of their defensive line depth. Maybe we see that as well. Um, we know that the Vikings had a very like rotating door to defensive tackle last year, and that was one of their biggest issues on defense. Um, so maybe like a Kevin Givens, Contavious Street, one of those guys, along with a pick, could get moved for Cameron Dantzler. I would love that. Dantzler is a, is a is a very good player, and I like Kevin Givens. I like Contavious Street. I like those guys, and I, I'm I'm very happy with the 49ers defensive line depth. However. They might be in dire need for corner in a couple weeks if a couple bodies go down. So, like the idea, if you can get him for relatively cheap, he's a guy that has only played one year, but in that year he's looked pretty solid and he made the all-rookie second team as a corner. So, rookie corners don't really, you know, they get toasted a lot. So, I, I like the idea of, of bringing a guy that's already had a little bit of early success um, to, start his, to start his career. Um, C.J. Henderson, he was a, I think he was the 10th overall pick a couple years back. Um, I know he was a first rounder. Seems like the Vikings are kind of giving up on him. Buy low. I'm I'm all for that. Doesn't seem like it would cost too much either. And the talent is absolutely there. So you go after a couple of these guys that, for some reason, are falling on their depth chart or the team wants to trade them. I am I'm absolutely for that. Um, so I think that come trade deadline, maybe a name like Stephon Kilmore gets brought up a lot, um, and it absolutely will. But it does seem like the 49ers are, are factoring that they want a guy under contract that is a lot younger. So maybe that's not exactly what they're looking for, especially considering that they already signed Josh Norman. They just signed Dre Kirkpatrick. They've been rumored to, you know, to have discussed the deal with Richard Sherman. So they've been going to the free agent market to, to get these older veteran corners. It seems like if they go in and tap into the trade market, it's going to be for a younger guy. Um, so I do like that. I do think that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's all we got for today. Um, me and Aiden, we're, we're recording later uh, this afternoon, and we're just going to go through, talk about some different parts of the game, definitely talk about IU. That'll probably be the first thing that we talk about, so that'll probably be out today as well. Um, but we just wanted to quickly get out something on this Cameron, Cameron Dantzler 
uh, trade negotiations because I found it very interesting and I do like the idea of adding him. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all. And I'll be talking to you very later.